everybody my name is Sandra welcome back to my channel I'm so excited for this video today because this is my September monthly setup for my Franklin classic so I posted a picture to my community tab you guys voted and the binder that ended up winning was my vintage Aurora this is the I want to say plum plumeria or the purple plumeria I can never remember but it's one of those two so this is my beloved binder I got this last year I was still waiting for um, new binders from Franklin to come out this year, so I decided to use what I had for this month, and um, it was either between this one, basically, or my Golden Aspen, and you know what, guys? If uh, binders don't come before, I guess it's September, October, so I might use my Golden Aspen for October, and then that way both of them will be, um, will be able to be used and... Um, I'll feel like this is a good one for September I feel I don't know I just feel like purple is really nice and then for um, October I kind of feel like the golden aspen is a really good fall color so I think you know it's it's not a bad um, bad chain of events that it happened this way so we're gonna switch into my purple binder um, I went ahead yesterday and I basically took all of the inserts, all of the things I might want to use and put them in here. So um, I think what we'll do is, yes, I have my task card here for my monthly setup. Um, what I do is I, I say review goals first and then I add the new pages at the end. But because everything is switching, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to take everything out. I do feel a little sad <laughs> switching from this binder because you guys... I love this binder. This one, even though it's not leather, it just felt so summery to me. It felt so good. Um, I had this one and I had my my green Olivia and I just really, really enjoyed using them. I was really happy to, to have received these from, um, it was on Facebook, um, from the kind of like a, through a buy and sell kind of. And it was just, yeah, so I was super happy. So I'm also happy though to set up September. I feel like we're progressing. It's not quite fall yet. Still we're technically in um, summer until like whatever the 20th or 21st of September. But that being said, I feel like fall, it, school just screams fall to me and my son starts school um, on the 1st of September. So I want to get that set up. I want to get all of my ducks in a row so that I'm not scrambling when the time comes. Okay, so what I did, um, I ended up finding my clear dashboards for my, this was actually from my Teresa Collins binder, the blush pink one. So I found it. So I'm going to use that here, I believe. And I also made this dashboard. So I went ahead, I only made one dashboard for this binder so far. I might make more. I do use Canva. And uh, I'm not huge into florals, but these colors just look so good together with this binder that I had to. I just had to use it. So it's kind of like, um, kind of like this dashboard here it was like my main dashboard for summer for my blue binder. And I said, love what you do. Um, this one, I changed it a bit. So now it actually says September. So um, as you guys know, I change my binders out generally once a month. I know I'm crazy. So everything I'm not using, I will put to the side. And I probably should pull all these goodies out. I did pull a whole bunch of other things out that I'm not sure if I'll use. But um, like for instance, I have some dashboards still. They are still floral, but they go with this color binder perfectly. So we'll um, look at those as we go through. So I've got my goals tab. Um, I'm also going to be doing a blog about setting up for goals for next year because uh, I feel like now is a good time to start thinking ahead and planning for goals. Um, I don't think it's too early for that, but I think it's important that uh, that people actually think about things like that because, yeah, it's early, but it's also um, it's good to start thinking ahead. Now I'm just trying to think what looks better. This is like way too busy. I also like the plain one. So I got this. This is one I made from my Planners Anonymous subscription. 
I've got this one. This is rose gold. It doesn't go as well. I like the gold. So I'm not sure. I'll put that one to the side for now. I also have this, which is really pretty. I really like that too. Maybe I'll do that one for now. Um, and then I have my goals. So I'm going to set all these dashboards to the side for a second. I don't think I need this. Um, the more things you put in your binder, you have to realize it does bulk it up. And it's just... Uh, makes it bigger and heavier and it's just harder to carry around when you need to. So you guys, so instead of blabbing through this whole process, I will do a quick quick flip through at the very end so I can show you what I've done, but I'm going to go ahead and do this really, really quickly so that you don't have to listen to me talk the whole time, and then we'll uh, start planning when I come back. Okay guys, so I've added all of that stuff in. Now I've got some stuff here that I want to add as well. So I've got my daily inserts. Um, these don't go with anything actually. <laughs> these are the, uh, the color of the September seasons, um, the anti-page inserts. So um, there might be some things I won't necessarily use here. Uh, let's head to the week because we need to add in the new week behind this current one. So I have that one and then I've got this is what we're going to plan on for tomorrow because I'll be doing my week filming on the Friday. So I also have, this is for an entire month. I think I might put this under projects. So this is actually the um, inserts from cloth and paper that are dated. So I think I'll leave that as a project because I wanted a place to put my Instagram stuff. So I might add that in here. Um, these are my monthlies, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. So let me go to the week first, and then I'll come back and do the, the month here. Those are the weeklies I'll add in. Then we'll add the dailies. I really did like the seasons. Um, these, the summer ones are so pretty. So I've got the month, which we'll put aside. I like to use that for my stats. So I'll keep that. And now I don't have to put the full month in. Sometimes I just do like the first half of the month. But um, this time we might put all of it in. And if in case there's like a dashboard that's kind of flimsy, like for instance, this one here is like the front cover page of the cloth and paper inserts. I could always pop that into here and it could act as a dashboard all into itself, but I haven't quite decided. It does make everything quite a bit thicker, so I might leave these out for now. So I'm just going to go back to the month. I was also thinking of keeping this in there for my stickers, but if it's um, too thick, I won't bother. Okay, so let's go to the month. And so I kept August in here because I have still a few days left. So we're only on the 25th today. So I still have about a week left. So I'm going to keep that in there for now. Um, same thing with my stats. I like to have that in there. And then here's September. So I do like to plan. I'm actually going to start using my index because I've been looking for information and then I can't find it. So I need to start writing it down here. 
I've been using this to plan for, you know, the month. And then on the back of here, I don't use this notes page. So I keep this separate. This will just go right behind that. And then this part, I don't use this anymore. This is the Teresa Collins monthly inserts. Um, I don't use that, but I like to use this to write down all of the work things I have going on. I mean, technically what I could do is just write it on the back of here instead as my master tasks. And then I don't have to like copy and paste. I just feel like this gives me more room because this part, because of this design here, it's cut off. But technically I don't have to do that. And then I could still have this additional notes page if I needed it. Maybe we'll do that this time. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. Um, and then what else? So if I go back to projects, which is at the very end of my binder, um, I keep, I don't know if I need this here. I'm going to take this out. This was something from cloth and paper I added, but it's like a storyboard with you put your projects on here. I just haven't been using it. It's just taking up more room. So I have my videos for the week. Again, if I have these inserts, there's no point in me having this. So I'll get rid of this. Um, that's for my blog ideas. So I guess what I'll do is put this in front. And then that can act kind of like a dashboard for that. That's cute. I don't need this. This is a week overview from Cloth and Paper. I won't need that if I have that in there. And then I also had some, I brought out one of these, of course, because I'll be using that for tomorrow when I go to plan my week. So I'm going to stick that back there for now. I also have some new shopping lists. Oh, yeah, and I don't need that. Um, because I need some new ones under home, which is right here. So my lists are getting full. You can see, especially this Walmart list. And the Sobeys one, so I just like kind of do a running total, like a, it just keep going until it fills up. So I'll put these, oh, we don't need them yet. So again, I'll put those back there. And then as for the front, I think um, I have a September card. I'm going to switch these out because I've got different things I want to add in there. I don't need my dots. I'll be using different color dots this time. This is a prescription that I guess I'll still keep in there. My Empower card, which is my word of the year. My Perpetual Calendar from Erin Condren, which I'll keep in there as a reference. But I don't want to keep it in the front because I want to actually have this more decorative. I love the front of this. I love how it looks. So um, I'm going to see if I can fit more stuff at the back of my binder here. So I'll put this Perpetual Calendar back here. These can go at the very back of that. These can go back there for tomorrow. Um, and then these can go there as well. I don't need those today. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of my August card. And now I have these goodies set up here. So a few things. I wanted to change my inbox paper, but maybe I've only got a handful of papers on their left so I'll leave that for now. Um, I was going to change this because it kind of matched it better but that's fine I'll leave it for now. Um, I also have this pocket that I, I stuck this little card in. I was thinking of using this pocket and putting it on um, but I think what I'll do I wonder if I should put this under schedule instead of keeping that there I'll put the pocket here because I kind of like the idea of having like a little pocket that can go right there and then I'm going to put the August or sorry the September thing right there because that's cute. That's really cute. See? Perfect. I love it. Okay. So then over here this has none left. I can throw that out. I like the idea of this. I think that is just so adorable. I just don't know if it'll stick out enough there. Um, I love this card, so I'll leave this in there. 
I need to find some business cards. Put some of those little post-it notes. I don't know if they'll stick. Okay, I'm going to stick these here if they fit. And then what I was thinking, um, this is my intention card, but it doesn't really look good there. I'm going to use these for appointments. I don't know what I can use to write on them or if I just write down the appointment and then write this on top. But I think, like if I go to my schedule, not only will they look good um, on the daily, so it kind of matches, right? Like, I mean, it's brown I don't know brown orange um, whenever I have an appointment because I'll have lots of appointments coming up from basically from September to December every time I have something like for my son's school or whatever I'm going to write it down and then instead of highlighting it or you know putting it outlining it in black I'm just going to post one of these little tabs on it these are all from cloth and paper they're all the same color um, and then I can cross it off as I go um, I might have to use permanent marker on them though, I don't remember what they use, but they'll fit um, just to kind of highlight and I just want to be able to use them up. So that's why I'll put them in here. Or maybe we can, if I have room, I can use this sticker holder for that or this envelope. Just like this. And then these as well. So these are all of the dots um, from cloth and paper. And pink ones don't really match as well, but this will be for my monthly calendar. Because I figured I'd do things a little bit differently this time. So this will be for appointments. Um, I might color code. So for instance, this might be for school. This might be for going to the doctor for baby. And then this might be for like family events or something. Um, we'll use those. I don't know why I'm putting them in here because I'm probably going to have to pull them out to use them to plan. Okay. And I already put some of these on, so I'll leave those to the side. I need my little insight card in here for making appointments. And then I also have some of my own stickers. These are all of my work stickers. Um, I don't know if they'll fit in here, but I can try. No, they don't quite fit. So I'll leave them out for now, but I might bring out some of the, the Koras and the Munchkins that I have. But I think these are good in here for now. Okay, so these ones I'm going to stick back here. Okay, there we go. I need to pull out a business card or two for that. And I'm going to put this back here. I think I'll put it on the inside of the page lifter. There we go. So I've bulked up my planner quite a bit, but you know what? I love a good chunky planner and this is what she looks like. Oh, so beautiful. I love the smell of this binder, you guys. I love, I love it so much. Okay, so let me get some business cards for the front of my planner. I don't know how many I need, but I'm going to put um, just one here, or maybe I'll see if it fits two. I don't want to squish it in too much. I usually just do this to show for my planner, and then what I can do is I go to the back where I have some additional spots, and then I just put um, a couple in each of those. So if I take my planner with me um, when I go out, for instance, I can hand people some cards and I have them at the back of my planner. Okay, so that's it. All right, so now let's get planning for the month. Okay, so the first step is always to review my goals. So we're going to go to our August goals. I know the month isn't quite over yet, but um, we can just kind of see what we've, you know, done. And ultimately, 
Um, I've been using this one marker to kind of highlight. This is a Zig Kiritaki brushable marker. Um, we went to my family reunion. It was so fun. I made a whole bunch of new contacts. Um, my kids had fun. There were so many kids there. It was great. Um, probably one of the best reunions I've ever gone to. I participated. I helped with the chores. I just, I integrated myself and I just felt part of the family, if you know what I mean. And we had, I think we had a hundred and how many people did they say? 150 around. So we had quite a few people. Um, we went camping. Um, I did meet my goals, you guys. I'm already at, let me double check my numbers. So YouTube, I hit um, 1803. So we're good for YouTube. And Instagram on my main accounts, I hit... Uh, I'm actually at 1908, so I, I've actually surpassed that goal. Um, August, so ultrasound is still coming up. Um, it's on the 31st. I will let you guys know what I find out. I'm really super excited. At first I was like, oh, it doesn't really matter, and like I'm kind of scared. But honestly, I am so excited to find out um, whether it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> And we'll just be able to make plans more easy and kind of start going through the baby clothes and just stuff like that. So um, I'm getting more excited as we get closer and closer. It's only in six more days and my, my husband's coming home on Tuesday. So yeah, so I've only got the weekend pretty much to get through and then we'll be there and it'll be great. I'm just excited. Um, the do doctor appointment, so my doctor appointment got canceled because my doctor was sick and um which is fine. I mean, it, it's not the end all be all. It's just my family doctor. I have not been sent to my OBGYN yet, but it will be the same doctor as I had previously, which is amazing because um, I've had that doctor for both my other kids and she's amazing. So I can't wait. Um, spiritual goals, you guys, that did not, like I have not followed through with that. I actually did uh, tarot and oracle the beginning of this week. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. And it was very insightful and I'm glad that I did. I just, I feel like not even so much that I'm so busy. I was pretty busy this week because I set up my goals. I set up my bullet journal. Um, I'm going to be focusing like while I'm in love with this planner, this planner is probably going to stay home more often than not. And if I go for a road trip or go to Red Deer, I'll be taking my bullet journal with me. Um, I ended up actually starting a brand new bullet journal. I know this isn't very popular on my channel. I don't know why. Um, most people are interested in the Franklin Covey process, but um, I set up my new bullet journal and this is a brand new notebook for September because I ran out of room in the other one. I just didn't have enough room. So I set up the beginning spreads and I also, um, I did a Amanda Rach Lee spread, but of course I've got many different um, spreads in here because I do different things in mine but I use this really beautiful black and gold washi tape I just I really like it um, I'm doing affirmations and gratitude in here so there's a whole bunch of different things that I do in my bullet journal that I don't necessarily track in here so um, anyway I'm doing that I, I didn't give up on my tarot for transformation it's this um, large kind of like journaling book that you have to journal through I didn't give up I just again it's not so much like that I'm super, super busy. It's more that I have more stuff on my mind. So with the baby coming and um, we've got some house projects to work on. So I just haven't got to that. Swedish death cleaning has been amazing, you guys. I finished the kids' rooms. Um, I'm going to work on my freezer today. Um, when my husband comes home, it'll be our first week home together as a family for like all summer. So we're going to get some work on the yard done. We're going to cut down this tree that's been growing there all summer um, beside our garage. And we're, we might even have like a, a little fire because we have a fire pit in our backyard. Um, we're just going to do some home things and it's going to be really, really, really nice just to be home and relax, watch TV, watch movies. Um, I'm just really excited for this time. And, um, school clothes. I went and I bought all of my son's school supplies early. I did the clothes early. So he's good to go. Like everything's packed. And, um, I think I mentioned it in a video the other day, but I actually uh, organized his room. So my mom and I got this $15 small desk from Goodwill, which was amazing because for a new crappy little chipboard desk, you're paying like $200 from Walmart. So, um, 
it's perfect. It worked out. I have an extra chair um, that he can use right now. His room is small, but he still has some room to move around. And I actually moved his PlayStation 4 into his room as well. He's always had a TV in there, which he never really used. He always watches TV down here with me. But now he plays it up there. He's really loud because he plays a game called Fortnite. And you'd be amazed at how many eight and nine year olds play Fortnite on PlayStation, like, or whatever. Um, the device doesn't matter, but just how many of them play. Because a lot of people, like you've got two, two different groups, right? You've got, well, actually three. So you've got the group that doesn't allow technology at all, which, you know, in today's society, that's probably holding your kids back. And then you've got the ones that let them play, but are very limited. And then you've got the ones that like, let them play Fortnite. I mean, it's, it's always good to pay attention to what your kids are doing, find out who they're talking to, tell them not to answer any personal questions. Um, but it's so cute seeing them. Like he actually has friends that he plays with on a regular basis now. And my husband's played with them and their parents play. So it's kind of interesting. It's um, um, at least we know that the these two kids that he plays with their brother and sister. So um, I'm actually happy that he found some friends to play that. And now when he goes back to school, we're going to have some guidelines and some limits. Um, as you're going to see in my upcoming planning here, I'm going to work on um, morning and evening routines. So I'll kind of talk about what that looks like. We'll go through those. Hopefully, if I remember, um, that's in my routine section of my planner. So we'll talk about that too, because things are going to look a lot different, especially for me. I've been struggling, you guys. I've been struggling to get up early. I have my, no, what happened? Yeah, I had my alarm set for 730 today. And I went to the bathroom at 5.30. I've been going to the bathroom like twice while I sleep overnight because I, I actually drank a lot of water yesterday too. But I've been struggling getting up early and I only have, like today's Thursday, I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then he goes back to school on Thursday. So my goal is to get up early. Like I want to get up at five on his school days so that I can get work done before he gets up. Then I take the kids to school. Then I have my... Or, my son to school. Then I have my daughter at home with me, but at least um, get into a proper routine, get her up at seven so that by 11, 30, 12, she's ready for a nap. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. Um, right now in our house, it's been extremely hard to sleep during the day because it's so hot upstairs. As soon as morning, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I shut all the windows just to keep that cool air in. But the one side of our house heats up so much that upstairs gets hot no matter what I do. So, um, it's going to be better. I think September, October is going to, the cooler weather is just going to be nice. And then, um, I've also been struggling. If you guys have any recommendations, this is a little off topic, but if you have any recommendations for maternity clothes, I need some help because I, um, I have no idea where to find maternity clothes. I'm going to look on walmart.ca because I found a few things on there but I need mostly like sweaters right now all I have is like literally four maternity tops from that I've used before that are getting a little tight because I've gained weight since then and um like these were items I purchased when I was 30 so I mean it's 10 years ago I've got these maternity clothes from 10 years ago um and I've gained a little bit of weight since then so I they're they're still wearable but they're, they're tighter. So I think for winter, I would have to wear like a cardigan over top those shirts just to make it look like a winter apparel, even though it's like just a regular t-shirt, but it's only maternity stuff that I have. So, um, I need a couple more shirts. I need probably, I'm going to need like the bras and stuff like just going to need a few things, but I'm struggling to find places to buy maternity stuff because time maternity shut down. They don't even have a website open anymore. And um, I was panicking a little bit because I'm like, oh no, where, what am I going to wear? Like, where am I going to buy stuff from? So I might have to go take a look at the thrift store too, just to see if they have anything. Okay, so um, I have not been following the food guide at all. I, like today, I did not feel like eating. I am so bloated. I haven't, uh, digestion's been hard. It's, it's a struggle. The struggle is real with that. Um, even despite the water, I'm just not digesting very fast. And so I'm not hungry today. I just don't have any appetite. So um, haven't eaten anything. I can't even get an apple down. And um, I'm just going to focus on drinking water until supper time. Probably not the healthiest thing, but I just have no appetite. 
um, Kegels. I've been working on them, but I have not been doing them every day. I have not been consistent. As for books, I need to start reading more, you guys. I don't have that current book that I'm reading, but I'm almost halfway done, and it's actually good. So if you guys are into those books, um, they're the Sarah J. Mass books. The Throne of Glass Ultimate Ultimate Series. Like, I would recommend that 100 times over. So good. So good, you guys. I could not put those books down. That was her best series. Then I read the, um, the Court of Thorns and Roses, and honestly, I'm not a fan. I thought at first that they were really really good but it wasn't um was definitely did not compare to um throne of, throne of glass and the, the series i'm on now is um right the crescent city series i'm not going to pull them out but the crescent city series and at first it kind of started off dry for me but it's getting better and the end of the book is going to be smashingly good i kind of I cheated. I went ahead and I read a little bit. So I already know it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know what the second book is like, but she just released the second book. So, but anyway, those are recommendations. If you guys are looking for good fiction novels, Throne a Glass all the way. My favorite series. When I'm done all of my reading material, like that I've got for this year, I'm going to reread um, that series because it's so good. And um, I need to start working on... Um, Outlander again soon. I can't remember which book I'm on, but I need to write that down for here. So I do want to finish all of these books. Um, my reading list for September is going to increase because you guys, I've got so many books to read. So I want to finish these ones. You are a badass. That's by Jen Sincero. It's a really good uplifting book and it makes you just feel good um, and you're kind of like oh that explains it or I don't know it's just kind of an eye-opener. Um, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a larger book I think um, so that one might carry over into October. Crescent City of course I'm going to finish that and then I'm going to write on here um, Outlander. I don't remember which one it is but um, I need to order that. It's not even, I haven't even purchased it from Amazon yet. So that is going to happen. So I kind of did this separate, I guess, because, um, oh yeah, food snacking. Okay. So what we're going to do guys is, um, I need to find my white out. I'm going to change things up here a little bit because, uh, I'm not, I'm not overly happy with what I have here. So um, right now, I currently have an appointment on the 7th. This is a doctor's appointment. Um, I don't have any other things going on, so I'm going to put my appointments up here. Um, and that one was at 1.30. Um, IG, so I already hit um, 1900, so I'm going to say 2000, and then YouTube, um, I'm at 1800 now, so I'm going to aim for 1900 by the end of the month, and then Medium, um, currently I'm at 169, so I'm going to aim for, let's say 250 by the end of the month, okay, um, I'm going to take off spiritual goals because I don't know if I have time to focus on that right now. Also, this T for T, uh, Trail for Transformation, that's coming off. Food and snacking is coming off. I'm just going to eat the way I'm going to eat. I'm not going to force myself to change that. Um, I am going to try using my hourly and weekly time blocking method in my leverage planner because like, I want to follow it more. I'll be in a more routine schedule. Um, I also want to establish my morning and evening routine. We'll talk about that. And I do want to get more reading in. So with with those routines, specifically the evening routine, I want to get these books done. So that is meant to be, um, these are both on my phone. So it makes sense because I can just take my phone, open my Kindle app, and then read for 15, 20 minutes before bed. Um, and I can do that because it's on my phone. It's already lit up, so I don't have to like worry about... Um, the light being on or anything and then I can just go right to bed as soon as I'm done but I want to do that that's like a main priority goal and that's why I'm taking off the other priorities because I want to make time for those routines they're very important to me and I want to do that um, the other thing I'm going to put on here technically it starts the end of 
August, but I'm going to have a sale in my shop. So I'm going to have a sale on Etsy as well as my website. Um, sticker shop sale. And that's something I just thought of because I did not put it on my goal tending list. This is my Cultivate What Matters goal planner. Um, and I'm just kind of referring to this as I go. So um, what we're going to put on here is I also want to do my budget close. Okay. Um, and my analytics. So I put analytics, stats, and finances. That's for my business. Um, planner setups, I don't have it on here, but that's okay because that's already established on my calendar. Um, stats, what did I put? Oh yeah, that's up here for these. Um, date night. I would like to actually have a set date night, but I'm pretty sure this weekend, let me get a different color of pen here. I, we have to talk to my son's grandpa, but I'm pretty sure that this weekend when my son is off school, we're going to be going to Red Deer because we haven't gone to Red Deer in a long time. So I have to maybe FaceTime him and talk to him about that. And as for the other things, they're more like weekly things I do every week. I'll just kind of show you guys what I do. So I budget every week. I do my planner setups and my plan with me in my Franklin, my Swedish death cleaning. Um, kind of a little note on my Swedish death cleaning is that um, I finished all the main areas. My husband and I are gonna do the basement landing, the basement with the Christmas decorations and our blankets we use for camping. That's gonna be cleaned out. We're gonna wash the basement floor. Um, and then little by little, I'm gonna go through the containers I have down there. So between the baby clothes, once we find out what the baby is, <laughs> um, and then also, um, I just want to go through it. I want to minimize, right? I don't want to keep stuff that I'm no longer using. Um, and I just, I want to continue. I want to continue doing that. I don't want to start buying stuff and then just taking it down to the basement. I just want to get rid of it. So um, that's the plan moving forward. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep up the areas that are already cleaned and just reorganize them on a, like a, a actual regular schedule because I'm just sick and tired of having stuff everywhere. Um, so again, blog sticker design, I put them in one because I do that every Tuesday, Wednesday, friend, family check-in, swimming movie, and then kids journal and Oracle. Those are the only two things I'm really sticking with right now instead of any other journaling things. My daily journaling is different. I do that every day and I'm hopefully going to include that in my night routine as well. But, um, kids journals are important for me to keep up with that because I want them to have memories when they're older. And Oracle and Tarot, it really provides insights as to how how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, um, and you'd be surprised. Um, it's it's really interesting. I, I really do want to start meditating. <laughs> this has been an ongoing thing for a long time. Um, I feel like right now um, I wouldn't mind focusing on meditation more, because especially for childbirth. I'm thinking of not having an epidural and I still don't know how I feel about that <laughs> I've been watching lots of birth vlogs and um yeah I don't know I th like of course I'll play it by ear if, if there's an emergency things might change but if I can I might just try to have a natural birth so I want to buy a birthing ball um I want to do lots of not really yoga but more just like I don't know just figuring things out um, I'm just trying to, to go from there. So anyway, so that's it for the goals um, that I'm going to write in here. I just changed a lot of stuff I feel, but I feel good with this list so far. And I do need to think about that sticker shop sale. I need to start working on that today and setting it all up just to get it scheduled. Um, next. So we've kind of, we've reviewed the goals and we set new goals, which is fine. So now we'll have to look at the month and then schedule the calendar. So um, here is my month. That is not the right month. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull this out. But yeah, it, one of my goals, I definitely want to use um, this index because I'm feeling like I'm losing all of the information. And I don't know where anything is anymore. 
So um, I'm just going to go to my future log. So here we go. Um, I wrote in early dismissal days. I wrote in days off, appointments, um, birthdays. I'm also going to write, um, I think, Red Deer, the 22nd to the 24th. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave this to the side. And we're going to start scheduling this calendar here. Um, I do like the idea of, like, if I was to put, like, with my little dots that I have, the, the pink and purple ones don't really go with this planner. But if I was to use dots for appointments and stuff, I like this calendar better for that. But when I write out my stats, it's nice to be able to have like a little line here as well. And then this calendar was nice for like the decoration part where I put all of my stickers, which I guess I still, I still like that. I don't know. I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm trying to think which one's bigger. So these are technically bigger because this one has more decoration on it. I think what I might do um, for now, maybe I'll still use this. I'll use this calendar for appointments and then this one will be for stats. I want to switch it around just to see if I like it better. And then what I might do is I'm going to make some different colored dots. I'm going to make like a purple variety that goes with my planner. And then I might make an orange toned with browns in it that goes with this insert planner. That might be interesting. And then I'll kind of range from like purple to brown and then like orange to brown and then I've got lots of ranges to pick from so I might work on doing that just pick out some nice colors because all it is is a matter of changing these colors on my iPad and then I can print those out and upload them so when I do that I'll show you guys that'll probably be I might even have time today so I'll see if I do that today then I can plan with that tomorrow I don't have any browns or anything but I can use, um, not the pink ones so much, but I can use these. I can use these, the yellow ones and the orange ones. Um, I mean, I could still use those. They're not like, that's fine. I'm going to see if I have my tweezers because I find that I'm not very good at taking these off with my fingers. So I need my tweezers, which I very rarely ever use, which is crazy. So, okay, I'm going to get planning, guys, and um, I will chat with you when we're all done. I want you more than money. I want to float on downstream. Go and find my wild dreams, yeah. I'd kill to feel it all shake you like a twisted mind game. I'll be burned by your flame. Oh. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Love and hate, romantic sin. Fire and ice, gone with the wind. You know I love it. Break free, just let me see your bad streaks. Maybe they'll match my freaks. Yeah, I'd kill to see the stars cry. Roam in the dark while love hide. Let the world know you're mine. Oh, ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Fixing fire and ice gun with the wind. You know I love it.
this is it for my monthly calendar. I said I wasn't going to use anything other than the dots, but I figured like this is kind of bothering me a bit because like I'm, I'm glad I have a content calendar on a different monthly spread because I feel like my videos are lost in here. Um, I should have used my YouTube icons for that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to really have to pay attention to when those videos are. So I do use my digital calendar for that on my iPad. So um, this is just kind of like a snapshot and an overview, um, especially for home events or for school events. I can take a look at the week and say, okay, I've got to clean and get groceries on the Monday, Tuesday, I'm pretty free. Um, Wednesday, I budget and have a doctor's appointment at 1.30. Thursday, I have to pay the bills and go get some more groceries, pick my son up for early dismissal. Friday, I have my plan with me to film for. So like I always have to like remember which videos I have. So when I plan the night before on my daily sheets, that that's the thing that really seems to help me. Um, I'll see if I can zoom you in here a little bit more. So yeah, um, I like adding a little bit of color in here. I think it makes it, it gives it some life, right? So um, I did kind of forget a few things as I was going through, I just had to refer to my August schedule because I was like, oh no, I don't remember what I'm doing here. So now it makes sense that because I use this as my monthly calendar, I can use the back of this for all of my tasks. So anything that I didn't finish, I'm going to carry over from this calendar here. Um, even though a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is already going to be done before the 1st of September. But uh, I'm just going to write it down anyway, I think, because that way I will not forget. So I'm just going to write this list out. I'm going to take items from my August calendar and then refer to the week and just see if there's anything else I need to add. Um, and also I do have some things in my brain dump, so I'm just going to check there as well. Hey guys, so my other phone died. I just finished writing out my list on my personal and my business master task list for September. Um, I've got quite a few things I have to do. I didn't think the list was going to be this big, but to be fair, some of these things I'm going to be doing this week and within like next week before the 1st of September passes. So yeah, so I think that's it for now. So I'm going to pop this back into my planner. And then we'll look at the master task card here, or that master task card, the task card to see if there's anything I forgot. And then I think that is it for this uh, setup for September. And I'm excited to plan for the week um, tomorrow. So I'm going to see if I can print out those um, little dots. I'm just going to use regular paper because I find when I do um, paper, these are the clear, clear gloss paper, the ink comes off. So I'm going to try using different dots. Um, I don't love the idea that I had blue and like red and yellow on there because it looks so like primary. I was trying to stick with like the orange and brown tones, but until I get some printed, it won't really look uh, like that, I guess. This list is huge. Um, that's fine. I'll just tackle it as I usually do. So we did the calendar, master tasks, and all of the pages are added. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through to show you guys what my planner looks like. And then we will be all done. So let's go through. So this is what the beginning looks like so far. Um, part of me wants to get out a clear, just a plain white backing. Like technically, I guess I could just turn it around and do that. Um, I really like this saying. It says the return we reap from generous actions is not always evident. And part of me wants to uh, go like this and put these little post-it notes underneath there. There. I don't know if that looks better. We'll just leave it the way it was. <laughs> okay. So that's for the front. I do have my stickers, uh, work stickers here. So I've got my clear page lifter. Then I have my overview 
tab. So I've got some inbox sticky notes and then these little post-it notes. Um, I thought I had more than this, so I just put a handful there. Okay, then I've got my September dashboard. I've got my goals tab, so the goals section has not changed at all. Okay, then I have my my schedule. So I put my little pocket here with the September on it, which I think is really cute. Okay, month comes first. Well, technically my future log comes first. Then I've got my month. Right now I still have August in here. And then for September we switched. Um, I will be writing my index on the front of here. This is my calendar for September. And then this will be my um, area where I write all of my YouTube and um, Instagram stats as well as medium and that's to keep up with the goal that we established on my goal section. So I'm also keeping October through to December in here until I figure out what monthly planner I'll be using next. That'll be something I'll order when I go ahead and buy whatever new binder Franklin is coming out with. I will get some new monthlies. Um, I don't need dailies yet but definitely the new monthlies. I'll need weeklies because I'm out and I'm also going to need some new um, progressive task cards because I'm out of those as well. Okay, then comes the week. So I've got this cloth and paper dashboard. I'm using my Teresa Collins weekly inserts here, which I've really been still liking. I've got my brain dump, my inbox, my daily pages. So you can see I'm still using up the last few of August. We'll get into September, which these are so pretty. Okay. And then I've got my routines tab with this little paper in front. It looks really pretty. I'm going to put this right back in here. Okay. All of my routines. So this is what I was talking about for my morning planner routine. So it's coffee, plan, journal, any work to do. So kids up at 7.30, get them dressed, get their breakfast, pack my son's lunch, and then leave at 8.20 for school. And then the rest is probably work and just hanging out with my daughter. Evening routine um, is plan the next day. So my evening routine starts at 9, ends at 11. Plan for the next day, journal, shower, if I need a shower, fill my water bottles, roll back my bed, um, set an alarm, medication, brush my teeth, skincare, um, lip gloss lotion, read for 20 minutes, and turn lights off at 11. Okay, so next I've got notes, and then I have this dashboard from Cloth and Paper as well. I don't have any notes currently written in here because I took out all of the camping lists and the packing lists, but I've got these notes from Flavia from Daytimer. These are from Franklin, they're wide rolled paper. These are the graph paper from Franklin. And then this is from Fancy Plans Co. My home section, another cloth and paper dashboard. My grocery list, my wine list, some um, non-food essentials, and my sinking fund budget savings categories. My cleaning schedules, Yeah, that's all cleaning. Health comes next. So I got rid of the health dashboard in favor of this one from Cloth and Paper. I've got snack ideas and then my Frank and Cubby health and fitness trackers. My menu planner, both versions from Franklin. Okay, personal tab was next. So I've got this reading dashboard I made myself with Planners Anonymous goodies. And then all of my book lists that I want to read. Okay, I've got my organization systems in here, my life categories, just um, random stuff. Next one is projects. So I put this one, ambition is the path to success, persistence is the vehicle you arrive in. Then I have this cover page for the cloth and paper weekly insert for the first week of September. My blog ideas and sections, my blog schedule. My project planning, which I could probably, I still need to keep this, but I can check off a whole bunch of things. So maybe I'll do that for my weekly. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Um, some more projects, some empty project planning sheets. 
And then at the very back is my home brain dump. And then I've got my sticker pouch. And I'll probably, any stickers I print, I will keep those in here. But for now, we'll just put these back. And I'm going to try to use these for the weekly events as well. Okay. And then at the very back, I have my final page lifter and then some business cards and then my various other tidbits. And that's it for my new planner setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join my channel. And click on the bell notification button to be notified when I post new videos. And we'll see you guys again in a day so you can plan for the week. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you.